Good afternoon, all. Tonight I will be doing an oratory of a poem of my own making. It's called How Am I? Uh, it discusses a lot of、uh, gender dysphoria, a bit of anxiety, and just general unrest with, I guess, myself and choices that I've made in the past. So, yeah, this is How Am I by Ari Quinn. <laughs> How does my dress look? Am I wearing too much makeup? Too little? Do my earrings look nice? Is my hair long enough? Is it dyed the right colour? Does my being fit break my feminine look? I guess wearing baggy clothes only got me so far. Why did you go out with me? How did you just happen upon me online? Do you just want something? Did I look good for nothing? Did I crawl out of my shell just to get snatched up? Like all the other times? Do I want to be taken advantage of? Should I say no? Should I refuse? Should I stand up for myself? Look for someone who actually wants all of me? Or be eaten by the wolves? Just for that split second of pleasure and belonging? Is that worth the risk just to love someone? The tearing and ripping of my own flesh are always locking in those final moments. And in darkness, I wake up in their bed with a note telling me to clean up your blood and pick up your torn dress, you slut. <laughs> and I do as I'm told, like all the other times. Do I need anyone? Am I fine on my own? When I feel better, when I have an excuse to depend on the same person for the rest of my life. What if I get bored of them? I don't want to just up and tell them, I'm not interested anymore, or it's not me, it's you, or you've become predictable. And I leave them on red, because I know it'll be the same conversation, and I forget them, and I move on, like all the other times. And I'll be back where I started, another lost soul searching for temporary shelter. From the harsh blizzard of existence, or from the blazing flames of my own self destruction. Oh, they could bring a building in a, down in a matter of hours. And all that would be left of my previous lover, a pile of ashes or a frozen, shriveled corpse. And I know I'm the one who lit the match. And I know I'm the one who left the window open on that cold winter night, like all the other times. Am I a parasite? A pyromaniac? A masochist? Am I being selfish, immature? Am I doing it all too fast? I can't be sure anymore. My entire body is at war with what I should do and shouldn't, with what fears to disregard and which to keep in an account. If I should fulfill my dream of unbroken companionship, I throw it away for a one-night lusty venture. If I should treat a person as a living being. Or some toy to play with, just to toss it back in that ratty cardboard box, mocked things to forget. Like all the other times, I contemplate whether or not my body should be placed on the cutting board and chopped up into more palatable chunks, just so those same wolves will have a better meal, or rather, that I should be preserved in a block of ice, stuck in a state of vulnerability. Finally, it rests with the decisions I was never able to make. Considering the, cir the circumstances, I think I'd rather be frozen. My heart and body would finally be at the same temperature. I wouldn't have to worry about someone touching me, my body feeling like it's being violated, wondering if I should scream for help. When I know deep down, it's just a friendly gesture. I wouldn't have to worry about growing up, knowing all I have to look forward to is the empty couch in my studio apartment. With the indent of my body and my body alone, I wouldn't have to worry about someone else's feelings. So instead, I hurt my own. Thinking of all the things I missed out on, thinking of all the hugs and snuggles I could have gotten, the long stormy nights wrapped up together, thinking of that couch having two molds in it, thinking of the bandages that someone could help me wrap around my bloody wrists, 
knowing that I'm in the care of someone who wants me to feel better. I want to feel better. I want a well-worn couch. I want a hug. I want to live. But just like all the other times, I'm the one in way of it all. A stitched-up silhouette of my own thoughts, baring its teeth at me, ready to strike. And with sword in hand, I vanquish the demon, its lifeless, featureless body to the ground. And I can finally open those dreaded castle doors. How am I, you ask? Terrible. I'm alone. I'm afraid. I'm hurting. I'm overwhelmed with the beasts I have to slay. But my sword hasn't dulled yet. I'm not alone. I'm not afraid. My wounds may still be healing. My wrists may be scarred. My heart may have stopped beating. But I still have plenty of fight left in me. So come on. Give me all you've got. I'm ready. And that was How Am I? Written by, ha by Ari Quinn. And performed by, ha by Ari Quinn. Thank you for listening. And I will see you in the next one.